A six-letter word. The clue is they sit around in their robes. Yes! It's the crossword game you've played all your life, but never quite like this. And here's your host, Chuck Woodery. Thanks very much. Welcome to Scrabble, the brand new television version of the game that you all know so well. We got a Sprint champion backstage that's doing so well. Mike Levine, let's bring him up. Mike. <laughs> Michael, a lot of money. You've made a lot of money. You made uh, 27500 so far in five years. <laughs> we're getting our bank broken here. You guys are playing very, very well. To this week, though, is a little different. We have college week this week. Did you know that? Yes. You're going to be gonna standing be up against college students. It's going to be interesting to see how they play as, a, as opposed to people who are not in college. You're out there in the workforce. <laughs> yes. In a few moments, you're going to be playing against the winner of this match. And if you'll stand by backstage, we'll see how everything comes out. Great. Good luck to you. Thank Thanks, you. Mike. Okay, Jay, tell us who our players are. He rides waves. She rides jingles. From San Diego State University, Eric Munoz. And from the Dick Grove School of Music, Pebbles Phillips. All right. Good to have you all with us. Eric, how are you? Pretty good, Chuck. How are Eric, you? you're a geography major? Right, at San Diego State. Great. And all, what do you do in your spare time? Well, I enjoy surfing and traveling in search of those good waves. Oh, great. Yeah. Nice. Nice to have you with us today, Eric. All right. It's just totally awesome, you know? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Pebbles, how are you? Hi, I'm doing good, Chuck. Yeah, you're a music major? Yes, and right. I got a little jingle for you. A little jingle? I for... want to win on Scrabble. I've got to get it right. To bring home that big money would be dynamite. <laughs> That's great. That is great. I love it. Get down. Okay. Uh, let's, uh, let's play Scrabble. Now, we're going to play until somebody gets three words right. And that player goes on to our Scrabble sprint and a chance at more than $40,000. Lots of money. Okay. Which one of you won the toss backstage? I did. Eric did. Okay, Eric, we're going to start with you then. Let's take a look at the board as we set up for our first word. All right, Eric Pebbles, we're going to be building on the letter S, nine letters in this word. The clue is a well-known catcher. Any idea what that might be? No, I have no guess, Chuck. All right. The uh, rest of the letters in that word are scrambled and controlled by the number of tiles between you. Pick one of those scrambled words and see if you can make something out of it. Okay, Chuck. I'll try number 11. Number 11. And number 5. Number 5. Each game is worth $500, by the way. I have an A and an I. Which do you want to try? I'll try I. Try the I first. All right, that's a stopper. That's bad luck for you, Eric. It's good luck for Pebbles. A stopper, uh, we have three of them in each word. They are letters that are not in that word at all. And, of course, you lose your turn when that happens. Pebbles, okay. uh, a well-known catcher. I have no idea. Let's play, then. Okay. Get a tile, I'll bring yourself up to speed. i number two. Okay, put it in the slot, honey, or you won't register. There you go. Okay. H, um, A and an H. I'll take the A. Try the A. Yes, there it is, a well-known catcher. Any idea? No idea. She says no. Well, let's play the H. Leaves the H. Mm -hmm. Ooh, second stopper. Not good luck. Eric, a lot of tiles out there, but only one stopper left. A well-known catcher. Any idea? No, no idea now, Here Chuck. we go. All right, tile number one and okay. tile number ten. Number ten. Number one is an O and number ten is a T. Which do you want to try? How about T? Try the T first. A well-known catcher, right. Eric. Uh, no idea, though. Okay, let's try the O. Let's try the O. A well-known catcher. No idea. Okay. Tile number nine and tile number six. Only one stopper out. C is nine and uh, number six is E. Which of those would you like to try? I'll try the C. Try the C first. Third stopper comes back to you, Pebbles. If you would like to take a guess at this, you can. Uh, however, if you guess it wrong, you can't play speed word. No, I'd like to fix some tiles. No, you can't do that, darling. That's our third stopper, so oh. we're into speed word now. We're going to play speed word. Both of you put your hands on your buzzers. Uh, we'll put the letters in place one at a time. Of course, we don't give you the last letter. Remember, the clue is a well-known catcher. When you think you know the word, hit your buzzer. And here come the letters now. Go. A well-known catcher. Well-known catcher. Tell me, Eric. Mousetrap. Mousetrap. That's got it. Yes. All right. That's one right. Again, I want to remind you that three right wins the game, and we're going to come back and finish this game in just a minute. Stay with us.
It's hard to lose weight when you have to feed three hungry kids every day. Because every time they eat, you want to eat. So when I want to lose weight, I take Prolamine twice a day. Once before lunch, then again before dinner. Prolamine's maximum strength formula really helps control my appetite, even when there's lots of food around. So I eat less. Mom, can I have more spaghetti? Look, if you want to lose weight, try the clinically tested Prolamine diet plan and get the hunger control you want when you need it most. ahead at this point, uh, one to nothing. Pebbles doesn't have anything. We're going to start with you this time, Pebbles. Let's go to the board, okay? We're going to be building on the letter U in mousetrap, seven letters in this word. The clue is, people can steal yours. Want to take a shot at it or play? No. No play. <laughs> play. Take a couple of tiles. I'll take tile number one and tile number five. E and a S. Mm. Which do you want to try? Let's go for the S. Try the S first. Ooh, first stopper, Eric, control back to you. People can steal yours. No guess, Chuck. No guess, let's play. Take one tile. I'll take number four. E and a T. How about the T? Try the T first. People can steal yours, Eric. No guess. No guess, that leaves the E. People can steal yours. No guess. Chuck. All right, take a couple of tiles. Okay, how about number nine? And number three. Number nine and three. Nine is an R and three is a Q. Which would you like to try? I'll try the Q. Try the Q. <laughs> Second stopper, Eric Pebbles. Back to you. People can steal yours. No guess still. Nope. Okay, take one oh, tile. Bring yourself up to okay. speed. I'll try the eight. All right, one stopper out. R and a D. Which of those would you like to try? Okay, let's go for the R. Last letter in the word. People can steal yours. No idea, huh, Pebbles? No. Leaves the D. People can steal yours. What can they steal? Still doesn't know. Um, the six. Try the six. And the two. And the two. That's an H and the two is an N. Which of those would you like to try? Let's try the H. Try the H first. Well, what do you think? People can steal yours. Can't give you the last letter. Thunder? That's right. <laughs> All the way down the wire. <laughs> All right, all tied up. Eric, we're going to start with you this time. By the way, I remind everybody, this is college week here. We have college students all week long, and Eric and Pebbles are both uh, college students. Eric, start with you. Let's go to the board building on the letter E in thunder. Eight letters in this word. The clue is a cool cat. Any idea? No idea. All right, let's play then. Two tiles. How about number one and number two? Number one is an R and number two is an I. Which of those would you like to try? I'll try R. Try the R first. Yes. Cool cat. No guess. No guess. That's the I. A cool cat. No guess. Still don't know. Okay. okay. Two more tiles. Number eight and number six. Have an A and a F. I'll try F. Try the F first. A cool cat. Garfield. Garfield, that's right. Two to one. Two to one. Oh, yes. Good, Eric. Two to one, Pebbles. We're back to you on your side. We're going to go to the board with you this time. We're building on the letter A in Garfield. There's six letters in this word. The clue is it's nice to hold on to. Nice Want to guess or play? To. No guess. Let's okay. Play. I'll try tile number four and tile number one. R and a T. Which of those would you like to try? Um, let's go for the R. Try the R first. <laughs> nice. Whoa. That's the first stopper of this word, Eric. Control passes back to you. It's nice to hold on to. No guess. Okay. Take one tile. Bring yourself up to speed. How about number three? I and a T. I'll try the I. Try the I first. 
It's nice to hold on to you, Eric. I can't guess it, Chuck. Okay, that leaves the T. Falls in. It's nice to hold on to. Still can't guess it. Okay, two more tiles. <laughs> How about number eight and number two? S and an L. How about S? Try the S first. It's nice to hold on to, Eric. Can't get it. No, that leaves the L. Let's try the L and see if it works. Ooh, second stopper. Back to you, Pebbles. It's nice to hold on to. Um, One letter left it will give you. It's nice I to hold on to. still don't have a guess. Still so. don't know? Okay. I'll take number five and number six. One tile left. N, Y. Which one do you want to try? The Y, please. Try the Y. I'm going to guess. It's nice to hold on to. Sanity. That's right. Sanity. That ties it all up. <laughs> two to two. We've got a horse race now. Eric, we're going to start with you this time. Let's go to the board building on the letter T in sanity. There are five letters in this word. The clue is, when they split up, you hear about it. When they split up, you hear about it. Want to play, or do you want to guess it? I'll take some tiles. Okay, here we go. How about seven and one? A and one is an M. Which do you want to try? I'll try A. Try the A first. When they split up, you hear about it. For the game. I can't get it. Okay, that leaves the M. When they split up, you hear about it. The game in $500. Adams. Adams, that's exactly right. Good for you. That's the game. $500. I'll tell you about that thing, Eric. Pebbles, thanks, honey, for being on the show. We enjoyed having some nice party gifts for you, buddy. Hey, Eric, 500 bucks in your pocket. Did you ever make it that quick? No, I didn't. No, you didn't. Okay. $500. You're going to go play Scrabble Sprint for $1,500 with Michael Levine. He's a tough opponent. But uh, we're going to take a commercial break. We'll come right back and play uh, with Eric and Michael. Stay with you. When I want to have some fun, there's one thing that really cheers me up. I, I can't remember what it is, but it's something to eat. I, uh, I know that, and it's got a rich, real cheese uh, taste, and it's uh, real nice and, and crunchy, and I... I uh... Oh, it's Cheetos brand cheese-flavored snacks. You know, chi as in cheesy, toes as in feet. So if you want to be happy, uh, eat more cheesy feet. <laughs> if you want to be happy, eat more Cheetos. Everything I need to take off all this makeup is right at my fingertips. Take off. The complete makeup remover in a cloth. Take off. Just stroke and makeup is lifted away like never before. Thoroughly and easily. Take off. It's a better way. Takeoffs are soft, textured cloths moistened with creamy makeup removers. Take off makeup remover cloths. Make your makeup disappear. Introducing Finesse Hairspray. It's specially formulated so a little spray gives you all the hold you need without looking stiff or feeling sticky. With a little finesse, you'll be looking your best. A little holds a lot. Don't you know that it's worth every treasure on earth to be young at heart? For as rich as you are, it's much better by far to be young at heart. A healthy life is a happy one. Make Mazzola part of your healthy diet. Mazzola is 100% pure corn oil, low in saturated fats with no cholesterol. You have a head start if you are among the very young at heart. Mike Levine's our uh, Scrabble Sprint champion, our current champion, with total winnings of 27500 He's going to come out right now. Michael. Good to see you back. Good to be back. You're uh, used to this spot. You've been here five times. You've won five times. There's a fly. Did you see that? It's wonderful. Okay. <laughs> Eric Munoz is our challenger. He's just won $500. You two will be competing for $1,500. Each of you will play three words. The best time wins. Eric, he's tough. Let's see how you do. You got your choice between a pink and a blue? I'll go with the color of my jacket in blue. All right. So that'll leave the pink for you, Michael. Let's see. I want to remind you to press this plunger 
before you give me your answer, because that stops the clock, okay? Okay. And there are no stoppers in these words. Here we go. First word, six letters in the word. The clue is, he has bad breath. The clock will start when we pop in the first two letters at the bottom of the screen. Ready? Ready. Go. N. Has bad breath. T. D. He has bad breath. A. He has bad breath. Tell me. Dragon. Dragon, that's right. 7.1 seconds. Good time. Second word. Seven letters in this word. It's on the house is the clue. Ready? Ready. Go. S. It's on the house. D. S. On the house. A. It's on the house. Tell me. Address. Address is right, 13.9. Doing pretty good. Third word, eight letters in this word. A lot of scales are found here. Ready? Ready. Go. I. M. A lot of scales are found U. Here. R. A lot of scales are A. found here. Tell me. Aquarium. Aquarium's right, 22.1. Very competitive. That's a real competitive score. That's good. 22.1. You got your work cut out for you, Michael. That's going to be real tough. You got your work cut out for you. Uh, with Michael, we count the clock backwards, and you must get all three of these right before the clock reaches zero. First word, six letters in the word. The third one can make you un uncomfortable. Let me say that again. The third one can make you uncomfortable. Ready? Go. E. R. The third one can make you D. uncomfortable. G. The third one can make e. you uncomfortable. Tell me. Degree. Degree is right. Second word, seven letters in the word. A type of cocktail. Ready? Go. V. A type o. of cocktail. T. Molotov. Molotov is exactly right. Very good. Ooh. Almost 11 seconds left for this last one. Let's see how you do. Eight letters in this word. You can lose it on the freeway. Ready? Go. E. C. You can lose T. it on the freeway. E. A. You can lose it on the freeway. P. Patience. Patience is exactly right with 2.3 seconds, and you did it again, Mike. Did it again. Yeah, yeah. Well, Eric, five hundred dollars in our compliments. He's just a little too tough. That was a great, great score he got. Thank you very much for coming right. on the show, and good luck to you, and catch a good pearl, okay? Yeah. Good wave or whatever. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Thank
If you'd like to be a contestant on Scrabble, please write to Scrabble, Post Office Box 67519, Los Angeles, California, 90067. And now, back to Scrabble and Chuck Woolery. Thank you, Jay. It's college week all this week. We have college students with us all week long. Ought to be a lot of fun and kind of interesting, too. And Jay's going to introduce our next two. She hopes to be a sportscaster. He hopes the director. From Cal State Northridge, Lisa Schuyler. And from UCLA, Jerry Jacobs. All right, good. These bright, shiny faces. How you doing, Lisa? Fine, thanks, Jack. Good. You want to be a, what kind of a sportscaster? A sportscaster, yeah. Really? What's your favorite sport? Baseball. Definitely. Oh, I love the Dodgers. Do you? Mm -hmm. Oh, good. Well, good luck to you in today's game. Thanks nice a lot. Nice to have you on the show. Hey, Jerry. You uh, want to be a television director, is that right? Yeah, or a film director, either one. Or film director. Maybe both. Yeah, you guys are almost on strike. <laughs> so, <laughs> take your time. Yeah, nice to have you with us today, Jerry. Thanks, good to be both here. Both of you, good luck to you. Who won the toss back, Steve? I did. You did? Okay, Jerry, we're going to start with you. Let's go to the board. Okay. Building on the letter O, nine letters in the first word. The clue is, you can't do it alone, Jerry. Help you? No, no guess yet. Okay, take two tiles and do um, your business. I'll take tile number three. And tile number eight. Okay, you have an I, and number eight is an E. Which of those would you like to try? I'll take the E, Chuck. Try the E first. Two vowels. Last uh, letter in the puzzle. You can't do it alone, Jerry. Um, I don't know. No Go idea. The I. Okay, try the I. You can't do it alone. Ooh, no guess yet. Still no guess. Take, take two more tiles. Uh, I'll take the nine and the two. Nine and the two. The nine's an M, and the two is an S. One I'll try. take the S. Try the S. First stopper of this word. Lisa goes to you. Haven't got a clue. No clue. You can't do it alone. Take one tile and... Uh... I'll take a seven, Chuck. Okay, seven. M and a D. Which of those would you like to try? I'll take the M. Try the M first. Can't do it alone, Lisa. I'll have to take... I'll take the D. <laughs> All right. It's kind of a rude sound. Here. Whoops, second Aww. stopper. Jerry, you can't do it alone. You want to uh, take no, a guess no or guess play? No guess yet. I'll okay. take two more. Um, the 10, and I'll take the four, Chuck. Only one stopper out. There's a U and an H. Which of those would you like to try? I'll take the H. Try the H. You can't do it alone, Jerry. Um, I don't know. We'll go with the try U. Try the U. Third stop. We're going to play speed word. I'm going to give, tell you, Lisa, you have one more chance. You can take a stab at it or play. You can't do it alone. You have any idea what it is? No guess. All right, let's play speed word. Put your hands on your buzzers. We're going to lay in the words one at a time. Okay, we do not give you the last letter. Or lay in the letters one at a time, I should say. We don't give you the last letter. Uh, reminder, you can't do it alone. When you think you know the word, hit your buzzer. Here come the letters now. Tell me. Nice. Harmonize. That's right, Lisa. That's for you. One check. Well done. All you needed was that one Z. <laughs> Good. Okay, that's one right. I want to remind you, you have to have three right in order to win. Jerry, going to start with you this time. Let's okay. go to the board. Building on the letter A and harmonize, Jerry. Seven letters in this word. The clue is he rubbed out his benefactor. He rubbed out his benefactor. Any idea? No. Let's play. Uh -huh. Okay, I'll take the number one and lucky number three. One and three. You got a D and you have a P. Which of those would you like to try? I'll try the P. Try the P first. First stopper, over to you, Lisa. He rubbed out his benefactor. Any idea? Nope. nope. I'll have to take a tile. I'll All take him a nine. A D and a D. Which of those? <laughs> I guess Let you're going to be stuck with a D. I think I'll take a D. Yeah. He rubbed out his benefactor. I don't know. Still don't know? <laughs> okay. You got another D. See if it plays. Yes, it does. He rubbed out his benefactor. I haven't got a clue. Still don't know. Okay. I'll take A and my favorite number seven. All right. Two more uh, stoppers still out. A and E. Those are your choices. Which I'll take like? the E. Try the E first. Second stopper over to you, Jerry. He rubbed out his benefactor. Any, any idea? No, not yet. Okay. Take one tile. Bring yourself up to speed. I'll take the number two. Try number two. One stopper still out. A, L. Which of those would you like to try? I'd like to try the L. Try the L. He rubbed out his benefactor. Can I take guess or something? Sure. Aladdin? That's right. Yes. Yeah. All right. Very, very good. All tied up 1-1. One, one. We're going to take a commercial break. Come right back at you and try to solve this. Uh, this trip.
Your mom makes jello pudding every day. Mm-hmm. Well, how does she remember? Mm-hmm. I, you leave hints. You put a box of it on her pillow. <laughs> you got a parakeet that says jello pudding, mom. <laughs> no. Oh, I'm sorry. Moms know kids love jello pudding. It's easy and it's wholesome. And your family will love our recipe for buried treasure in this month's magazines. I know a kangaroo brings it in its pouch. No. I just say please. Oh. There's a zesty part of you in everything you do, and that's what makes you different from the rest. Because you live with zest, you love good seasons best, for a taste that gives you more than others do. It comes from all the herbs and spices they use, more than the leading bottled Italian. And when I make it fresh, they just burst into life. Nothing makes a salad zestier. There's a zest that's in good seasons, that makes good seasons best. Standing here with Mike Levine. Michael Levine is our uh, current Scrabble Sprint champion, of course, at $29,000. You've really done very, very well. This college week ought to be kind of interesting with these students and everything because they, I don't know, it's probably been a while since you've been in college. It's been a long time since I've been in college. Well, we no, were talking about players. that. <laughs> yeah. The word association, all of that, I, I don't know whether that ever leaves you or not, but you did very, very well that first time around Thank by you. a couple of seconds. I, interestingly enough, Molotov, uh, he said that he didn't know that. He would not have known, so it would have been his demise. See what happens tomorrow. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye, everybody. from the Procter & Gamble Company featuring the stylish Royal Blue Terry Velour warm-up suit and the book Olympic Challenge 1984. Look for Procter & Gamble's exciting souvenir offer in this week's newspaper coupon insert and at participating stores. Plus, grab a sandwich for dessert. Weight Watchers Sandwich Bars. Cool vanilla and two chocolate wafers. This is living, not dieting. Weight Watchers. And Soft Sense Skin Lotion. When summer sun and wind dry your skin, Soft Sense restores softness without stickiness. <laughs> Chuck Woolery's wardrobe, produced by Pierre Cardin. Scrabble, starring Chuck Woolery, is produced in association with Exposure Unlimited. This program is based on the Scrabble brand Crossword Game. This is... Tonight, it's two special hours of the sights, sounds, and stars of the golden age of rock and roll. Join Frankie Avalon and Annette Funicello at a super summer beach party on Dick Clark's Good Old Days. Then, Stephanie Zimbalist and Alan Font find the battle of the sexes is a laughing matter on a hilarious, candid camera. NBC, let's all be there. Scrabble is a rich, friendly. Yeah!